Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here. Today I want to show you guys these very cool boss bar health systems. This is probably my favorite one, but I'm going to show you that one last. Uh, so stick around. Okay, so this is a very basic one. If you shoot the arrow, it deals damage to the boss. Pretty cool. And it works every time. You can see sometimes it turns off one light, sometimes it turns off two. That's just how the redstone works. Um, but if we finish this off, oh, we killed the boss. Hey, we get a nice little surprise. And then everything stays dark. We can come back and we'll click the button to reset the game if we want to play it again. Really quick. This only works because we have items in here. Every time we hit the target, redstone signal goes into the dropper, sending the item over here. This comparator detects how many um, items are in here. If there's less items, then there's less redstone being powered and less um, lights will be on. And then once there's no more lights on, this resets itself. Pretty simple idea. Um, I created one up here that is a little bit nicer, I think. Um, it works very similarly. We have to shoot the target, but this time we don't always get to deal damage. It actually has a randomizer. Um, to see if you're dealing damage or not. We got pretty lucky, three shots in a row. Four shots, here we go, can we clear him out? Nope, nope, okay, so close. There it goes, and then we defeat it. We get a little firework show, and it actually resets itself. So you don't have to press any buttons, you can come play this game again whenever you want. Now, the way that this one works, first of all, when you shoot the target, it randomly dispenses the pickaxe or a rotten flesh. If it has rotten flesh, the signal strength of the redstone is only one, so not enough to power the line. If it is the pickaxe that shoots up, then the redstone is strong enough to reach this, which powers this whole dropper line, and it sends all the items through here. So if I shoot this once, there we dealt damage. So in here we had a full stack, so it was 64, but now it's 63. We can see it's right there. Once you reach the end, it sends a little signal down here, creates a redstone, um, a torch burnout system to create the fireworks show, and then it resets by unpowering these hoppers, because if you put something in it right now, they're not going to move. But if these hoppers are turned on, then everything will go through, and then it will shoot up into here, and go in here. Pretty simple. But not all boss bars need to be a redstone lamp showing you exactly how much health there is. You can also do something like this. This is my favorite. This is an actual visually damageable uh, boss health system. So basically, you can do damage to this boss, and then once you get to a certain point, you win. And uh, unfortunately, you need to reset this all yourself. It's not completely automatic, but as you can see, we shoot the target, we sends TNT, and starts blowing up the head. Oh, we missed. There we go. Ooh. And we'll know when we win. Because we'll get some a little fireworks show, just like on the other ones. Oh, this is so good. There we go, we won! Yes! I created a command here just to bring it back super quickly, but it basically just watches this observer. Once this little brain chunk gets, boom, destroyed, then the player wins. And then you can have like all sorts of creatures attacking you, you can have him shooting fire, fireworks back at you. All sorts of fun stuff that I'm going to show in future videos. I'm definitely going to be posting more minigame mechanic stuff. As you can see, I have some stuff behind me over there getting ready for the next video. 